lot, we're never ever gonna not forget how this all started. This right here. You want to talk about Espanol? Esto aquí es una imagen falsa. María en realidad no era una mujer blanca. Ella era una hija de lo que la gente se llama hoy en día haitiana. Haití, exacto, porque el tribu de Levi son los haitianos. Lo que pasa es por culpa del cristianismo. Por... No, we love Haitian people. Ellos son parte de... ¿De dónde estuvieron? El Salvador. El Salvador. Estos son la gente de El Salvador. El tribu de Cebulón. De Guatemala a Panamá. Los nativos, los descendientes de ese tribu, son hermanos y hermanas, son parte de la nación de Israel. Son gente elegida. Okay. Y esta imagen no tiene nada que ver con la escritura. Yes, it is Catholic, but it's also false. Mary, as I was saying, is a black woman. When she was alive, she's a black woman from the tribe of, of Levi. She was black, just like Jesus. Jesus was black too. You never heard this? Somebody give me the scripture. I'm going to show it to you right now. Revelations. The one thing on between two spots. Revelations. Matter of fact, let's go to the power. Let's go to the one that has color in it, right? Let's first go to Daniel. Vamos a Daniel en el viejo testamento. Daniel 10, 5 and 6. Because the prophet Daniel also saw what Christ looked like. We're going to bring it up. Come on. Daniel 10, 5 and 6. It's good that you're asking this question. It's real good. You know why? Because now it's going to make you see the Bible for what it is. Don't you know this Bible is a, Lat a Latina person, a Latino person book. It's a black man's book. It's a Native American Indian man book. Every prophet in here is either black, Latino, Native American Indian. If you find yourself on this list, guess what? You're God's chosen elect. If you're not on this list, guess what? You're enemies to God. That's right. Enemies to his people. That's you right. Say? And guess what? Everybody else who's not on this list, is going into slavery. And I will show you that right in the Bible. You got it? Let's go show, let's go show what Christ looked like. Daniel chapter 10, verse 5. Uh -huh. Then I lifted up mine eyes. I saw it. Third time, yeah, he said, I lifted up my eyes. Go ahead. And look. And look. Go ahead. And behold, uh -huh. a certain man uh -huh. clothed in linen. While he dressed in, it was made of linen. Go ahead. Whose loins were girded with fine gold. And what, the one he wore around his belt, this was made of fine gold, read. Of you fans. Of you fans, that's the best gold, go ahead. Verse six, uh -huh. his body uh -huh. also was like the barrel. Meaning the garment he wore was a green color, read. And his face, as the appearance of lightning. Because he looked at roughneck, he looked at hardcore, you understand? He didn't look, give me that image right there if you could. He didn't look soft and puffed and, and a puff like this guy right here. He didn't look like this. Christ didn't look soft like this. Read. And his eyes as lamps of fire. And his arms and his feet. Now listen to this, hermana. Read. And his arms and his feet uh -huh. like in color to polished brass. Yeah, look, 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 brass. What color is brass? You don't know what color is brass. Brass or bronze, they can't call it Sally. What color is Brass, but you never seen a, a penny? Right? What color is that? Copper? The copper, right? But it's brown, right? Yeah. Right? It's Sally, you want to read that part again? And his arms and his feet. His arms and his feet, what? Like in color to polish brass. Like in color to polish brass. You understand? It's showing the description of the skin color of Jesus Christ. Is now, that, is that the Old Testament? That's the Old Testament. I'm going to show you in the New Testament. Read Revelations 1, and we'll start at verse 1. And then we'll jump down to 13, 14, and 15. All right? Because a lot of our people don't know this information because of the Christian leaders. They rather hot cha cha and shimmy all down the aisle, right, and talk all this nonsense, but never go into the Bible when the Bible clearly says in 1 Peter 4 and 11, if any man speaketh, let him speak as the old fools of God, meaning the preachers. The pastors, the reverends, the deacons, anybody that's religious is supposed to go into this Bible and say what it says in the Bible. But unfortunately, Christianity teaches what their opinion is, which don't matter to the Lord, because the Lord clearly says in the Bible, lean not unto thy own understanding. Now read this here. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. 
the revelation of Jesus Christ. Uh, what the word revelation means? The word revelation means. Mira, hermana, una pregunta. Mona, una pregunta. ¿Qué significa la palabra revelación? I must repeat it in English. What does the word revelation mean? Uh, revelation? Yeah. Uh, truth? Okay, okay. Doesn't it mean to reveal? The word reveal is in it, right? Yeah. A revelar, right? Yeah, yeah. So, it's saying the revelation of Jesus Christ is going to reveal something about Christ. Read. What's that say, sir? Keep on. Revelation chapter 1, verse 13. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. There's two important things right there. It says, in the midst of the seven candlesticks. These seven candlesticks represent seven schools that Paul helped establish in the truth. You understand? And it says, one like unto the Son of Man. Not like a son of a spirit, like the way the Catholics and the Christians like to believe, but one like unto the Son of Man, meaning he came from a man, free, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And if you look at this brother's garment, he's clothed down to the foot, free, and girt about the path with a golden girdle. He felt his belt, just like his brother. He had a belt on, but his was made of gold. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. His head and his hair were white like wool. Right. Wool was the texture, and he had gray, woolly hair. Right. Only people on the planet that have woolly hair is a black man. You know what I'm saying? Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. There's one thing about Christ that a lot of Christians don't know is that Christ liked to drink wine. You know what I'm saying? He liked to drink wine. And also, because when you get extra angry, your eyes don't do turn red. Read. Verse 15. And his feet. The reason why Christ was extra angry was because he seen what the colonizer did to his people. He's seen that the colonizer enslaved blacks and Latinos and Native American Indians. He's seen that the colonizer enjoyed the murder of, of um, George Floyd, of Ahmaud, what's his name? Ahmaud Arbery. Ahmaud Arbery. Ahmaud Arbery. He enjoyed that and got pissed off Christ because he see that these people are nothing but devils. You know what I'm saying? He see the torment and the torture that our oppressor, that the colonizer, does to every black and Hispanic and Native American Indian and walk around like they free, like their country is inherently theirs. When it ain't, it belongs to the Native Indians. Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. And his feet like unto fine bread, showing us that Christ not only had a white woolly afro, but his feet like unto fine brass. Mean what? That he did not look like this, but Christ looked like a black man. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Right. Because Christ was a dark brown, uh, dark brown brother. This is Cesar Borgia. This ain't Christ. Before the late 1400s, this image did not exist. But because of our colonizer, oppressor, he put this image up as as himself as a representation, but as the new Christ. When Christ in the Bible, in the same Bible that they use against black people, showed that Christ is a black man. Not this right here. I don't know what the hell this is. This is some abomination right here. This right here has no place with the Lord. That's, That's right. Christ right there. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect this be punished Really I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper told it I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running
turn in the suit Call me Tyler Warhol, either call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You 